Hello, viewer! Hope you don't mind me coming in for a sec. Just wanted to remind you that if you have a question, comment, or submission for me or any of my characters, you can send it to chronicler177 at gmail.com, and I will respond to it in my fan mail series. Your feedback is very important to me, so don't hesitate. Tell me what you're thinking. Thanks, and enjoy the show. Listen up! You will all enter the cells in the order that I tell you, and in the order I tell you exactly. Corey, Tyler, in the farthest cell. Could be worse, I guess. Oh, you say that now. Wait till you have to live with him. Joy, Mailer, Leo, middle cell. Oh, hell yes! It's like college all over again! Joey, we didn't go to college together. You didn't go to college at all. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You don't know my life, bitch! Now look here, Mac, I don't care if you're a zombie, a ghost, or the president of the United States. No one makes Mailer live in a dirty cell with two boot-licking, backstabbing, corn-pounding, horse-wrangling, shit-smearing greens! I can throw in your own special cell if you want. It's called a grave, and you'll be all nicely dressed in a body bag. Horseradish, why should your gun work when mine doesn't? Okay, going in the cell. Oh crap! That leaves... Seth and Butler. Front cell. You want to put me in a cell alone? With him? Do you want me to die? Relax. He can't do anything to you while the dampening field is up. The dampening field doesn't stop him from breaking my brittle little neck. I think I'm going to enjoy our little stay here more than I thought I would. <laughs> Now I want no funny business. Even if you were to somehow get out of your cell, I can personally guarantee you that you won't find your way out of here. So sit tight. The necromancer and I are going to decide who we want to interrogate first. Mac, why are you doing this? What? I know you. You hate following orders from anybody. Why are you letting this necromancer boss you around? The necromancer has shown me my true purpose. He will lead me to a greatness. A greatness I could never have while stuck in a stupid canyon with you stupid people. He's just using you. Yeah? Well, you're trapped in a cage, and I'm not. You know what, Mac? I liked you better alive. I'll see you all in a few minutes. Try not to kill each other. It's like a sleepover in here. We're in a fucking prison, Tyler! Yeah, all thanks to Immortal McDooth Pants over there. I must have missed the part where this is my fault. You heard the Necromancer. He's especially interested in you. He's not here for the rest of you normal, boring, idiotic sons of bitches. He's here for the freak. Hey, Seth, why don't you do us all a favor and shut your fucking mouth? You brought me here, asshole. You get to listen to me. Silence, Doctor, or these words will be the last you speak. Fine, but only because I'm terrified of you. You should keep it that way. Well, this is a fine pickle we're in. I don't see any pickles. There's gotta be some way out of here. Look around yourselves. Anybody see anything? I've got a pencil, a handful of pocket lint, and 35 cents. I think somebody spilled ketchup in here. Uh, oh god, that's not ketchup. Don't look over here, Tyler. Hey! What? Did you find a way out? Tell me it's an air duct. There's always an air duct. No, but I did find some sort of handheld video game. It's one of those five games in one type things. Fucking score, lucky bastard. You know, that, that doesn't really help our situation. At least I can play video games before I get tortured to death by an evil immortal psychopath. Oh sweet! It's got Pong! Pong? I love that game! 
you like video games? Of course I do. What do you think? I just go around and kill people all the time? Kinda. Yeah. I'll admit, slaughter is one of my favorite pastimes, but every now and then I prefer to relax and play some video games. Holy shit. I think I just gained some respect for Butler. Do you not think that that will save you from death? You know, Butler, you uh, <clears throat> you could just forget about <clears throat> massacring all of us. What do you say, water under the bridge? Nonsense. You still owe me a large sum of money. There's nothing I hate more than not getting paid. How was I supposed to know you wanted a physical payment for your services? It's not like that's a social norm or anything. You should have read the terms and agreements of my contract! Oh, but nobody actually reads those. Regardless, you have annoyed me too much. I will not be swayed. In the end, you will all lay dead at my feet. Wanna play some Pong first? You, Doctor, I will kill you last. Shit, I'll take it! Hey, Bunkmate. You know there's no beds in here, right? Did you happen to bring any marshmallows? Marshmallows? Yeah, for the s'mores! S'mores? You can't have a sleepover without s'mores. This isn't a sleepover! Of course it is! That's why I brought my copy of the Lizzie McGuire movie! We can watch it and eat s'mores and talk about boys! Talk about boys? Why do you think I want to talk about boys? Do I look like the type of person who wants to talk about boys? Because I don't. I don't want to talk about Muppet- I, I mean boys. Um, are you alright? Uh, what? I'm not throwing a very good sleepover, am I? Never mind, Tyler. Hey man, you okay? Well, I'm trapped in a cell, waiting to be tortured. I wouldn't exactly say I'm feeling great. Hey, look on the bright side. At least you don't feel pain anymore. Yeah, I get to sit and watch comfortably, while all my friends scream in agony as they are brutally interrogated. That makes me feel loads better. Who do you think this necromancer guy is after, anyway? No idea. What I don't understand is why he thinks we know where this person is. We're just a bunch of misfits stuck in an isolated canyon. Nothing important ever happens to us. We've been in the same canyon for the past month, right? People are disappearing. One of the oranges may be an evil mastermind, and Mac came back from the dead. If that doesn't tell you that something important is going on here, I don't know what will. Do you think it has something to do with you? It has to. You heard the necromancer. He's immortal too. I'll bet he knows something about me. I'm finally close to getting some goddamn answers. Ignoring the fact that the rest of us are about to be tortured, I'm really happy for you, man. Of course, there is one thing that I don't get. What's that? Remember that speech you made about us teaming up to take down Butler? Oh yeah, totally out of character, I know. Right before that, Muppet and I deduced that Flim had to be the evil master Mac was talking about. Right? But now we know that the Necromancer is the one who brought Mac back. So, if the Necromancer is Mac's evil master, who the hell is Flim? Hey, you greens. You quit all that scheming you're doing right now. We're not scheming, Mailer. <laughs> As if I'd believe the words of a no-good, dirty green like you. For all I know, you're plotting to murder me. And in my own prison cell, too. At least have some decency. You're still not over this green-orange thing, are you? We have way more important things to worry about right now. This isn't the time to be attacking each other. Guys, Mailer was planning to turn on you as soon as we defeated Butler. What? Yeah, he was going to use the mech tank to kill you once Butler was dealt with. Just what I expected from an orange bastard like you. Is this true, Mailer? <laughs> well, uh, you see, you know, uh, hey, uh, back me up, Cory. He was fully ready to kill you all. Cory! Sorry, Mailer, but in this situation, I have a saying. WWMD. WWMD? What would Muppet do before he left? Muppet was trying to get us all to work together. Maybe if we'd listened to him more and focused less on trying to kill each other, we wouldn't be in this situation. I hate to sell you out, Mailer, but he was right, so I can't back you up here. It cuts deep, Corey. It cuts real deep. Ha <laughs> ha! Sucks to suck, Orange! Joey, you're not helping. But, I... No but. If we're gonna get out of here alive, we've gotta drop this whole green-orange crap. That goes for you too. Ugh, <laughs> uh, fuck.
fine, but only because you're my best friend. <laughs> the internal drama between all of you is so delicious. It's pretty fun to watch them wring each other's necks, isn't it? So it is. Ooh, goal! Lucky thought. Best five out of six? You're on, Doctor. Hello, gentlemen. We're back. Ah, I see you found the video game. Yeah? What about it? Nothing. Just thought I should let you know that it belonged to the previous resident of this cell. You can keep it if you want. He won't mind now. Because he's dead. Oh, sweet! Free video game! I trust you're all enjoying your stay. No! no. How rude of you to reject my hospitality. No matter. I've decided who I shall be speaking with first. And it shall be... Mailer. No! Oh, thank God it's not me. Mac, get him out. Yes, sir. Wait, please, you can't. You... still care, Corey? Of course I do. You may be an idiot sometimes, but you're still my leader. You can't take him! But I can. And I will. And he will tell me everything I need to know about Orange Team. Get out here! What are you going to do to him? Je vais briser ses doigts en pas une, s'il n'est pas pas, je vais passer à ses outils. Pour ses jambes, pour ses bras, s'il n'est pas, ce qu'on sera la dernière. Merde. What did he say to you? You do not want to know. You'd better not hurt him! Oh, yellow one, let's just say I could learn a thing or two from this necromancer. Don't worry about me, Cory. I'll be fine. Keep your head up. I will do what I must, no more, no less. On that, you have my word. Lead on, Mac. This way, and no games. I'm moving, I'm moving. We are so fucked.